What's going on, Falcons fans? It's your boy, Big Low Country. Hey, man, I just wanted to check in with y'all. I know everybody's excited about that big game that happened on Sunday. We finally got a W. Hey, first of all, I do want to let y'all know, please subscribe to the channel. Y'all don't mind? Help a country boy out and subscribe to the channel. My name is Big Low Country, um, and I am part of Atlanta Falcons Nation. Just want to talk to y'all about this play, man. So this is the difference between uh, one coaching staff and a different coaching staff. So this particular play, uh, Minnesota's on the two-yard line, um, getting ready uh, to try to punch the ball in. And we this is where we made a goal line stand. This is where we started off, guys. So um, let's take a look at this first play. We're going to look at this whole goal line stand, okay? All right, so let's look at that in full motion first. All right. Boom, shot that gap. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, let's take a look at it again in slow motion. And let's just kind of take a look and see what happened and how it unfolded. All right, so we see here it looks like they have a loaded line, three tight end set. Let's run in and see what happens. They put that tight end in motion, uh, moving to the left side. Our linebacker shift over. Everybody fills their gaps perfectly. Aluakin comes through, shoots that gap perfectly, gets that tackle. But let's go ahead and look at this thing from the other point of view. And let's look at those lines. We all know that that's the most beautiful part of football, man. Let's look at these. This offensive and defensive line to see what happens on this particular play, guys. All right. So, as we can see here, we got uh, somebody lined up in the zero. We got Grady Jarrett and Allen Bailey. They're lined up in three techniques, which means they're playing on those guards outside shoulders, okay? Then we also got... Um, uh, Edmund Robinson right here, who is the key. This guy right here, he's the key to the whole play. And then we also got Means out here. Um, he's lined up out wide. So let's take a look at this one, see how it unfolds, and see how a Lewican, who's lined up right here behind uh, Grady Jarrett, see how he shoots this gap and gets this tackle. So let's look at that in full motion first, okay? All right. So they shift over, boom, shoots that gap, gets that tackle. Beautiful tackle. That was the best part of it. So let's look at it in slow motion and just kind of watch how everything unfolds. Once again, like I said, keep your eye here on this guy. This is Edmund Robinson. He's going to be the guy that makes this play happen. All right. So we, they put that man in motion. He shifts over. Beautiful part is... And look, guys, if y'all seen the last video, whenever whenever the offense shifted, whenever the offense um, made made adjustments or went put guys in motion when Dan Quinn was here, we would just stay lined up the same way that we stay lined up. But look how this team is shifting whenever this whenever that tight end went in motion. These linebackers, they came down, means he came down, and he played that five technique. So we can make sure that we fill all the gaps. It's all about filling gaps, guys. It's all about filling gaps. You got Grady Jarrett right here. He's filling this gap. 96, he's blowing all of this up right here. Alan Bailey, he's filling this gap. And at the end of the day, our linebackers and Keanu Neal, these are our playmakers. But like I said, keep your eye on our man right here. Keep your eye on Robinson. So let's take a look and see how it unfolds here. All right, so, like I said, everybody's taking a man. Everybody's filling the gap. You see here, um, Alan Bailey, he's taking on a double team. Everybody's taking on a gap. Minnesota, they're actually running zone. They're running the zone blocking scheme. Everybody's moving to the left. Their first step was to the left. They're going to run it down. And basically, Madison, he's going to try to find a gap and shoot it. And try to get in this end zone. But you see here, look, 
all of our linebackers and safeties, they're looking in the backfield. Everybody's looking in the backfield. So let's take a look, see how it continues to unfold, guys. Mm. So y'all see that? Our boy Robinson here, he's the guy that sets everything up for a little kid. That's why football is a team sport, guys. Football is a team sport. One man sets up another man. Boom. Pushes that man back. He blow him up. He blew that man up like he had a stick of dynamite in his pocket. All Lurkin has to do is just shoot the gap, get there to make that tackle. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. All right, so we did end up getting that stop on that play. Now let's take a look at the next one, see how it unfolds. All right, so on this one, is we got second down um, on the three-yard line. So let's take a look and see how this one unfolds for us, to, uh, guys. All right, so on this one right here, we got Thielen. Uh, he's lined up in the slide, and we also got a tight end. They split him up out wide. The reason why they split him up out wide is because, you know, just in case they want to try to run a fade route, they could take it out there to him. But the beautiful thing about that particular set is that it actually kind of spreads this defense out a little bit. But the beautiful thing is that they still have those two tight ends lined up. So they can still, you know, run the ball. They still have... They still have numbers on their side. So let's take a look here and see how this one unfolds. Okay, so they brought that tight end in motion and brought him down. Mm, man, good play, good play. That's how you blow. That's, that's how you fill gaps. That's how you fill gaps and stop plays right there. All right, so let's watch. Let's watch it again in slow motion. To see how it unfolds from this point of view. And then, you know, we're going to watch it from the pretty side. We're going to watch it from, from the line of scrimmage side. And, you know, that's where football happens. So they, they motion this guy down, that tight end down. And then, you know, they're basically, okay, so he pulled down to try to pick anybody up coming off that back side. But boom. Everybody just filled their gaps, man. Everybody did what they were supposed to do. That's beautiful football, man. That is beautiful football. Let's take a look at it from the other point of view. See how everything unfolded that way. We'll look at it in regular motion first. Then we'll also look at it in slow motion. So y'all see here, they got those, those two tight ends set up. They got everybody spread out. So, looks like we're still lined up in three techniques here for our tackles and that nose. In this particular situation, it looks like we're running like a 3-4 scheme because we got those three down linemen, almost just like the last play. And then we have, we got Means lined up basically as a linebacker because he doesn't have his hand in the ground. And, you know, the same way we're trying to figure out what they're trying to do, they're trying to figure out what we're trying to do. So, let's take a look at this play again. In regular motion and then we'll break it down in slow motion okay All right mm. yeah yeah that was a real good play so basically you know we lined up in that that three four and and this is something that the falcons haven't been able to do for a long time everybody in this play everybody basically just played their gaps and pushed the man and pushed the man in front of them um, back into that running back, and I mean, he just didn't have a gap to go through. So let's look at it in slow motion and see how it unfolds. All right, so we see here, looks like Alan Bailey, he got a good, he got a good push on his man. That tackle, it looks like he was stepping up to go ahead and get a look at him, but he he probably should have helped uh, with Alan Bailey a little bit more. Um, Debo, he was going to try to clean up everything in this gap. Let's see here. 
Mm. So Alan Bailey basically made his man change directions. I mean, and everybody else just did their job and made sure any other gaps were full and picked them up, man. That's how you play ball, man. That's how you play ball. So let's look at this next play. So they stopped them. Uh, they got down to the one yard line, though. That's the thing. They got down to that one yard line. So look, man, now we we got a little bit of real estate to work with. So let's take a look here and see how this one unfolds here. All right. So first, let's look and see what we got. So. All right. So we looks like we also got another three tight end set offset eye formation. But look at our defensive line. Everybody's up here. Everybody's up here. So it looks like we're going to bring it. It looks like we're going to bring the pressure. Uh, we got Deion Jones back here. Uh, he's the farthest man back. And looks like he's just going to kind of read and see how, just read and react. This is, this is a, everybody hit everybody else and we're going to read and react kind of situation. We used to call this one red nose because by the by the time this play is over with, somebody knows it's gonna be bleeding. So let's run this one and see what we got here. Okay, so they sent them in motion. You see that? They sent them in motion, so that means that um we were running man coverage. Man coverage across the board, man on a man. Beautiful play, man. Beautiful play. <laughs> the Reynolds running downfield. We, hey, I used to all my, I used to always tell my players, don't stop. If, if you think you got a chance to, to get a turnover until they blow that whistle, you don't stop running. All right, so let's look at it from the pretty side of view, guys. So look at here. Um, everybody's on the line of scrimmage. Everybody's on the line of scrimmage. So. Let's take a look and see how this play unfolded. Um, Deion Jones, he's the guy that he's the guy that made this play happen. So he's the he's the 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 player of the play <laughs> on this particular play. So let's take a look here and see how this one unfolded here. Uh, and we'll look at it in regular motion, then we'll look at it in slow motion. Man, this defense looks so much different now, man. Beautiful play. Beautiful play, Debo. All right. So let's watch this one in slow motion. You see he went in motion. Isaiah Oliver followed him over just in case he wanted to squeak out. Offset eye. Got everybody. See, so on this one, uh, we actually got the numbers on the line of scrimmage. So Kirk Cousins, he possibly could have checked out of this one. He could have checked out of this one and said, hey, let's run this play action. Um, and see if we can get the guy underneath. So we're gonna put this one in slow motion, and let's just watch how how Deion Jones reacted to this play and see how he stopped it. All right. So look at him. Deion Jones, he's moving with that running back. He has his eyes in the backfield. He's moving with that running back because Look, they're on the one yard line. They could definitely run it in if, if they get a good enough push. So he's moving with that running back, making sure that his hips are parallel to the line of scrimmage, not turning his body. All right, right here, still keeping his hips parallel to the line of scrimmage, eyes still in the backfield, watching everything that moves side to side in the process. So look. We got that tight end that that came underneath. So 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 this right here, this is this is the point of no return. This is this is where this is how Deion Jones made his money right here. Okay, so what Deion Jones most likely did, he most likely seen where Robinson was coming off that edge and and. He can see that um, that running back's body was tense enough to take that block. You and, and that's just something that you just look for um, whenever you play football. Everything's happening so fast, but that's probably just something that he was looking for. So let's see how uh, he changes direction and makes a beeline uh, to the flat to try to stop this play. Man, 
man, did y'all see the ground that that guy covered? Did you see how that man put his foot in the ground and got got to that flat like that? Let's take a look at that. Let's look at that whole play in slow motion. Reading, reading, boom, go. You see how he planted that right foot? He just took off. Stick that elbow in there, knock the ball loose. Textbook play, textbook play. All right. So, fourth down, fourth down. This is where, this is where boys turn into men right here, guys. So let's take a look here and see how this play unfolds and see how we got this stop on fourth and goal, which is something that we never did in that Dan Quinn era. All right, so you seen that? The first thing that I noticed about this play, they rushed the line of scrimmage. So, so whenever they rushed that line of scrimmage, it wasn't even a second before they hiked that ball. And this is something that coaches teach because they're trying to catch everybody off guard. Look at everybody's body language. There ain't that many people set. Nobody got their hand in the ground. I always teach my players, look, you wait on them to come. You wait on them to come and hike the ball. Don't don't wait on them to get down and get and get set before you have your hand on the ground. You know, and I'm talking about the defensive line. But but look, they rushed to the line of scrimmage and they said, look, man, we're just gonna try to go ahead and see if we can get this ball in here uh before they're ready. So so let's take a look here and see how that unfolds. Boom. So for everybody who says that that young man, Dante Fowler, isn't doing his job, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all, that man, Dante Fowler, made a heck of a play. A heck of a play. Let's take a look at this one again. Boom. All right. And what we'll also do is we'll look at it from the pretty side. This is my favorite side to look at plays from, guys. So we'll look at this one right here. Still lined up in that zero technique, that nose tackle. Um, Grady, he's pointing inside. Whenever you see a whenever you see a defensive lineman with his body turned inside like that at an angle instead of facing straight like that. That's called pinching. That means that he's going to try to cross this guy's face and he's just trying to get directly to the ball. So he's trying to, most likely Grady Jarrett's trying to make sure that Kirk Cousins doesn't uh, run a sneak or something like that. But let's see how Dante Fowler got back there. So let's run it in regular motion first and then we'll run it in slow motion. Mm. So y'all see that? So basically, that that offensive tackle, that left tackle, he just blocked down on Grady Jarrett because he seen that Grady Jarrett was pinching, and um, you know they, they were obviously you know trying to run the ball um, on this left side, and he was just trying to make sure he stopped Grady Jarrett. Everybody wants to stop Grady Jarrett. He's a bad man, but they didn't think about how fast Dante Fowler could get back there. Um, as an offense, you always want to make sure you block from the inside to the outside. Um, and it looks like that just didn't happen on this play. And we made a great defensive, had a great defensive effort. I believe this actually turned the whole game around. So let's take a look at this one one more time. All right. So you see here, nobody, um, nobody's turning out. Nobody's opening their hips up to Dante Fowler. Keanu Neal, he was going to come try to try to blow this play up, but there was somebody coming down to uh, coming around the corner to meet him in there. That would be a I hate to be in the middle of that collision. Oh, OK. Well, actually, I'm wrong. This guy right here, he was actually going to try to come and pick up Dante Fowler. He's seen Dante Fowler coming. He just couldn't get there in time. 
He just couldn't get there in time. So if Dante Fowler wouldn't have got him, Keanu Neal would have gotten him. <sighs> hey, man. This week, this defense looked a whole lot better. Um, I definitely loved how everything unfolded. Uh, we definitely have to get better at our pass defense, though, because, look, Jefferson ate us alive, man. Um, uh, getting to the quarterback, we definitely did a lot better at that. But, you know, that that coverage, uh, if, if we do want to try to turn things around, we got to just make sure that we continue to improve week by week. And I definitely think that we could do that. Um, look, man, I really appreciate y'all watching these videos. Like I said, I'm a coach. Um, and everybody who watches these videos with me, hey, I, I consider y'all part of my coaching staff, man. So uh, if y'all see anything that I missed or anything that y'all want to point out to the other viewers, make sure y'all point it out, man. And like I said, I appreciate y'all chilling out with me. Um my name is Big Low Country. You can check me out on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Big Low Country. And, um, hey, y'all do a country boy a favor, man. And make sure y'all subscribe to my channel, Big Low Country Sports. If y'all have any questions about football, fantasy football, or just want to talk about some football, y'all make sure you hit me up, man. I'm, I'm always eager to talk to you. So thank y'all so much and rise up. A time down.